be a bass. It's a big one if it is. Nice. That's the kind that's gonna take five of those. Solid, three, three and a bit. All right, guys, we're nearing the end of the season here up north, but the fishing's awesome. It's a great time of year to get out and chase smallmouths before uh, winter really sets in. Uh, for us, you know, up in the north country, midsummer, late summer, fish are gonna start congregating on wintering spots. So it could be a, you know, any kind of structure. It could be a point, a hump, a flat even. Picture uh, three or four miles of shoreline where, you know, any number of hundred smallmouths disperse over the summer. In the fall, they're gonna congregate in one place. A lot of them are gonna congregate together and spend the winter together. So it's, it's a great time to find groups of fish and catch some of the biggest fish of the year. You know, one thing that I've learned, no matter if you're up north, down south, um, bass love to eat bait fish and minnows in the fall. So um, for us in the north, a lot of Cisco smelt, alewives, those are your bait fish that these bass are kind of gonna be focused on eating. Um, you know, as we head farther south, obviously shad are gonna be a factor, but you wanna use minnow imitating baits. That's, that's my go-to in the fall. Um, obviously for the big stuff, an umbrella rig, uh, the flutter spoon's been good for me the last few years. Um, pretty fun catching smallmouths on that thing. I've actually pitched it out in, you know, fish in 25, 30 feet of water. That spoon won't make it five feet down and those things will be coming up, uh, making a beeline for it. So pretty fun. Um, and then obviously the minnow, the, the jerk shads rigged on the jig head. Um, Everyone knows that's one of my favorite techniques, favorite baits to catch fish all over the country. And, um, you know, Z-Man makes a four and five inch version of their jerk shad. Um, I, I uh, the thing that's really nice about the Elastec baits that they, they give us is they're buoyant. So they sit naturally on these jig heads and, you know, horizontal in the water. So that makes a big difference, helps you get a few more bites. Um, that's the five inch right there. Um, in the fall, a lot of the fish, I think, are focused on eating some of the bigger baits, so um, don't be afraid to throw the five-incher. Um, as it gets a little bit colder and into more of a winter situation, you might want to go to the four, uh, you know, downsize a little bit. And then, finally, you get on some fish that are hard to catch or you, you know, you pull a few out of a school and they start to smarten up, give them the drop shot, um, little flat-out tungsten drop shot weight. I like the these kinds of weights with the eye on them, not the clips, because when a smallmouth comes up jumping, uh, especially a big one, if you're using a clip on there, um, you're gonna lose a lot of weight. So tie them on, and then little Gamagatsu B10 stinger hook, just thread, a, that's a Z-Man finesse shad, um, really a good finesse um, drop shot bait, uh, but that's gonna put a few fish in the boat for me every day. Uh, you know, no matter what. So uh, get out there, enjoy the last of our season. If you, especially if you live up in the North Country, we got a long winter coming. One of the best times of year to catch some smallmouths.